Hey guys, it's Chris from Chris Productions, and today I'm bringing you guys my biggest Lego haul ever. And as you can see, there are some massive sets in here, and there's some massive amounts of parts, and there's a bunch of random cool stuff, and there's a lot of fun stuff here. So everything here was on some kind of sale or deal or had a promotion or was free in the case of some things that aren't my favorite. But, um, yeah, so everything has a bit of a story, so this might be a bit of a longer vlog, but if you guys want to see where I picked up some of these really fantastic parts or these different sets, I was able to get them all on some kind of sale or deal. So um, I'm going to start at the very back with the helicarrier because that is probably the thing that I would question the most about this video is why would I have a helicarrier? I don't really do anything superheroes, but I really like the Marvel superhero stuff and... If you would ask me at the beginning of the week what I've paid, whatever the retail price is for the helicarrier, which I think is 400 Canadian, uh, I always said no. I would never have seen myself with that set, but then I found it on Amazon doing a pre-Black Friday sale. It was like $180 off, so I could not pass that up. It was like 1 in the morning. I mean, <laughs> then I was really, I couldn't fall asleep after that because I was like, man, what a good deal. And so that came in, and then, well, it's go over here to this side with the Ewok Village. Uh, this one is at the Lego store. It was, um, I think, 60 or $70 off, so that was pretty good. Uh, there's five pick brick cups, all with, there's just 10 2x6 bricks. They're all pretty much the same. This one's got some of these eye pieces, um, but they're all 10 2x6 bricks with um, clear cheese slope filler and then random 2x4s or those um, yellowish things in the top of the cup lids. So I got five of those, which got me a free Santa Globe, and then the Ewok Village, which also got me a free Santa Globe set, or, yeah, Santa Globe thing. So that's awesome. Um, what should we go to over here? We'll go to the Slave Ones. Those are actually two different Slave Ones. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I do post kind of my hauls there, but uh, this opened one, I got it with the Milano for a certain amount of money off of Kijiji, which is a local ad site. And I definitely plan to just kind of resell that and flip that. So that's why I have that. And the sealed one, I traded for it, and I'll probably do the same thing. And ATA, DP, I don't know what I'll do with that set yet, because I really like that set, but we'll see. Um, these base plates, uh, the three bottom ones. So today I went to a show called Bricks and Blocks. It is in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I displayed with the um, Southern Alberta LEGO Users Group. And I don't make it up to this city called Calgary. It's three hours or two hours, two and a half hours, somewhere in between there, away from me. And there's a Lego store there. Otherwise, I don't, I don't have regular access to a Lego store and also access to my lug for some of the stuff that we do with the lugs. So it's definitely good for me to get up there once in a while. So there's some of the stuff that was backlogged. Um, I got a good friend named Lego Penguin on YouTube, as well as Ballistic Bricks on YouTube. Fantastic animator. And um, they've kind of helped me with a few of the different deals here. But um, I Lego Penguin picked me up, Lucas, he got me this Stormtrooper Battle Pack, I paid him for it on Force Friday, and he went to the Lego store and got me a uh, Darth Revan, something fantastic, I was free with that purchase. Um, we entered in these Aimbot, which is the Edmonton, one of the Edmonton Lego users groups, and um, I got to meet the other person who spells his name, the other Chris with a K, that was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> and... Um, we won his, or I won his building speed build contest twice, so I got two of the prizes there. It's awesome. And then I traded some random guy for this poly bag, and Chris Mambo actually gave me this for free, so what an awesome guy. Love to talk with him. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, I'm going to save this for, like, nearly last, because this is the coolest part. But um, my buddy Lucas got me the Force Friday Revan, as well as this random bag of stuff for five bucks, and then all of these figures here for a few dollars, I can't remember. So that was awesome. So thanks to Lucas Fat, as well as these base plates. And the weirdest thing about these base plates is you'll see there's one on the bottom that's bigger than the other ones. It's actually a 50 by 50 stud base plate. And if you guys are aware of base plates, like, <laughs> I, I didn't even know 50 by 50 existed, and it's definitely a more of a retro thing, so that's really interesting I don't know I might have to trade it back to him for a 48 by 48 because it's not really gonna work with my dimensions of tables and stuff and the fact that there's only one but yeah, anyways he, he got me three base plates and the rest 
The green one is also from Lucas, and the white one I bought for a dollar, or I traded for a dollar, or traded for something, anyways. Um, the other 24 32 by 32 base plates here are all on uh, loan from some good friends in the lug. Uh, I definitely am going to be in need of some base plates now, and I just really did not want to go and buy that amount, so um, they were very nice, and I know they have lots of extras, so I just shot a message out, and they replied, they were nice enough to lend me them, so I gave them some, <laughs> I gave them something for letting me use these probably for the next, like, close to a year, so, anyways, um, there's that, and with Ballistic Bricks, we bargained a guy down on these two bags of just random Lego parts, and I definitely wanted the tan, and Ballistic Bricks, uh, he went through there and kind of picked out the stuff that he wanted, and then he sold the rest of the bag to me, or traded it for something. In the front, we've got some sets from a vendor that was at this Bricks and Blocks show. Um, three Lord of the Rings Urukai Army sets, and they were only 75 bucks altogether. And then earlier, for 40 bucks, I got the Freako Bike, Mandalorian Speeder, Droid Escape, and the Old Republic Battle Pack. So I thought that was I thought that was pretty good. Those had some really good prices. He even had like a UCS R2 for 250 Canadian, and I think that's only like maybe 180, 190 US, like. Really good price. The guy had really good prices and lots of cool stuff. Anyways, so that's kind of all the other stuff. Now for the pretty much the biggest and my favorite part of this whole haul is the my lug bulk order. Now it's just a bulk program that Lego offers to Lego users groups, and I happen to be part of the Southern Alberta Lego users groups. So um, I finally got my lug bulk in after a very very, very long wait. So that's really exciting. And there's some awesome parts, and I can't wait to start using these in some builds here. Now, it came so late that I'm almost ready for uh, next year's. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm really excited to get to use some of these parts. I'm going to start in the front and save the best for last. But you got 100 of these, 100, 100, 100, 50, 50, 50 of the windows, 100 black studs with holes in the center, and then some window panes, 50 of each of these really awesome plant colors, we got 50 of these plates, 50 arches, uh, 100 of those, 500 trans blue one by one bricks. Oh, that's like my favorite. And um, I think there's a few of those, and 500, 500, 500 sangreen cheese slopes, 100 sangreen bricks, 100 of each of these profile bricks, and then 200 dark red ones, it appears. Um, yeah, and now into those big quantities. We got. Uh, 16, 1 by 16 techno bricks. there's 50 of them, and here we've got, I believe it's 250 6 by 6 light gray tiles, those are very cool, 100 trans clear uh, 1 by 6 by 5 window panes, uh, 4,000 dark bluish gray 2 by 2 tiles, 300 light bluish gray quarter cylinders, 1,300 inverted 1 by 2 by 3 slopes in dark bluish gray. Can't wait to do some rock work with that. And then in the back there we have 250 of these fantastic um, scaffolding parts as we've been calling them recently or a 1 by 6 by 5 with like cross beams or something like that. And it's very cool parts. Very. Alright so that's the whole haul. If you guys have any questions or comments that aren't are you a spoiled kid or how do you get your money or where do you find the deals because I kind of explained all the deals and I work for my money and I, all of it and I choose to do Lego as a hobby and this is where I choose to spend my money and everything here I'm just really excited to get building with um, the only things that I probably might just resell and flip are probably the sealed slave one and maybe this other slave one or I might turn it into a Django Fett slave one that would be pretty fun but anyways, I can't wait to get using most of this stuff for uh, building. It's going to be lots of fun, especially the lug bulk. It's going to be awesome to work with. Thanks to Lego for that. And yeah, <laughs> can't wait to... I don't know where I'm going to find the time. The helicarrier is going to take a lot of time to build. <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. You can come subscribe. And if you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you guys so much for watching. That's incredible if you've made it this far. So definitely like the video. And comment, I've made it to the end, because that's ridiculous. And I will see you guys in the next video. I have more army videos planned, because apparently you guys really like haul, or, um, haul videos. I hope you like haul videos, because i got a few more of them, but 
it probably won't be this big like again <laughs> but um, I got a few more haul videos but I also have a few more army videos that I'm going to do for you guys because my clone army had has a lot of views already so that's that's awesome I'm glad you guys like that and I know what you guys really want is more mocks so I'm also working on that I've got something coming out around Rogue One and I've got a few other random small builds that I've built randomly and then something huge is going to be coming to my channel in at the end of uh, December. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys later.